Hello everyone and welcome to another video about RoboG 2.2. My name is Shetaj and in this video I am going to give you an overview about RoboG 2.2. On the left side we have the context area. We have control, motor, sensor, media, variable and function button. In the center we have the main area. This is where we will design our logic. On the right hand side we have the C code area whenever we will place a block in the main area RoboG 2.2 will generate a C code corresponding to that block and the code will be displayed in the C code area you can choose to hide or show the C code area as per your liking above the main area are the menu buttons file edit tools and help so now coming back to the context area we have the following blocks in the control context area start time if if else while while forever and stop while forever is a new block in roboj2.2 basically if you want to repeat any instruction forever then you should place it in a while forever block we will come to it later in the motor context area you have a motor block and an advanced motor block the motor block gives you an option to choose the port of the connected motor the direction of rotation of the motor the speed of rotation of the motor advanced motor block gives you an option to choose the port of the connected motor the direction of rotation of the motor and the angle of rotation of the motor you can choose by how many degrees you want to rotate your motor then we have the sensor context area where you have sensor 1 sensor 2 and sensor 3 you can use these blocks to read the corresponding sensor port of your control panel we will not be covering the media context area in this video then we have the variable context area in variable context area we have a create variable button, we have a arithmetic variable block and we have a delete variable button. So let us go ahead and create a variable. You can create three types of variables int, char and string. So let me create an int variable. So now I have declared an int variable count then next we have the function context area we have a create function button and a delete function button you can create two types of functions a void function and an int function but we will not be covering functions in this video so we will talk about them later so now let us make a small line follower robot program this image is going to give you a basic idea let us assume this is the front of the robot and sensor 1 is on the left hand side sensor 2 is on the right hand side motor 1 is connected to the left hand side and motor 2 is connected to the right hand side unlike in RoboG 2.1 we do not drag and drop the blocks in RoboG 2.2 we will double click on a block and it will be placed in the main area so let us start i will start by placing a start block next i want my code to be repeated forever so i'm going to use a while forever block for it next i want to read the sensor port 1 and sensor port 2 of my control panel so I'm going to place sensor block 1 and sensor block 2. See, now I can place the sensor block 1 inside the while forever loop and outside the while forever loop. So I will be given an option wherever I, I have to click on the button wherever I want to place the sensor block 1. I want to place it inside my while forever loop. Same for sensor block 2.
so now for line followed robot we will use an if block to make the comparison of the sensor values by selecting the sensor 1 let us say if sensor 1 is greater than an constant value of 350 and sensor 2 is greater than a constant value of 350 then I want my robot to move straight ahead so in that case I will set my motor connected to port 1 to clockwise direction at high speed and the motor connected to port 2 to anti-clockwise direction at high speed but if sensor 1 is greater than 350 and sensor 2 is less than 350 this means that my robot is turning to left side and it is going to go over the line so in this case I would want my motor which is connected to port 1 to move in clockwise direction and the motor connected to port 2 should also move in clockwise direction then the next case would be if sensor 1 is less than 350 and sensor 2 is greater than 350 this means that the motor port connect then that the my robot is going in the right direction so i want my robot to turn left for that i would want the motor connected to my port 1 to rotate in anti clockwise direction and the motor connected to my port 2 should also rotate in anti clockwise direction and now i will place a stop lock and that is it my program is done go to file save as and save your program as you can see the program was saved successfully you go to tools compile your program once the program has been compiled successfully you can connect your control panel to your PC and burn the program to your brain Thank you for watching this video. My name is Shitaj from Avishkar Box.